Well, earlier on, we told you that the Kenya Aviation Workers Union has reached a return to work deal with government ending their strike. But services at the Moi International Airport in Mombasa remain paralyzed for the better part of Wednesday as Kenya Airports Authority workers downed their tools in solidarity with their colleagues at JKIA who uh, are protesting the alleged leases of the JKIA airport to an Indian company. Hundreds of passengers were stranded as there were no flights landing or even leaving the airport. Here's that report. This was the situation at the Moi International Airport in Mombasa. Operations at the airport were all crippled as KAA staffs downed their tools in solidarity with counterparts at the Mokenyat International Airport who downed tools to protest over the alleged leasing of JKIA to India's Adani Group. <laughs> Long queues of stranded travelers were formed from the early morning hours with many flights delayed and others cancelled. My flight was uh, scheduled to leave uh, Mombasa at around 9.30. We have been here in the queue uh, for roughly about one and a half hours. I was supposed to leave at 9.10. Like in Asana, it's about 9. So, I was here at 11, but the problem is a connection to Nairobi. By 10 a.m., no domestic flights had taken off, with only one international flight had managed to land at the airport. The airport staff expressing frustration with the purported lease. By selling JKIA to Adani, we've already lost our jobs. So, the half that Imebaki is for us to fight for it. Wangekuja mbele yetu na watuambie hivi na hivi inaenda kufanyika. Lakini kulingana na chini nafanyika sahi, sisi tumekuja tu kushudia. The KAA workers instead calling upon the government to provide land to the Indian group to build a new facility. Tulikuwa na request to president. Aende ampatie shamba, hata hapa mazeras kuna shamba, ajenge airport, airport hapo, ainvest hapo, andike wa Kenya. Lakini kuja kuchukua JKIA, sisi tumekataa kama wa Kenya. Parasai Frederick, Prime Edition.